Um, so first off, just so we have it, can you say and spell your first and last name? Sure, Chris Weary, C-H-R-I-S-W-E-R-Y. And your title? Uh, Alderman. Okay, so um, I know you said it was on your personal page, not your like official professional page, but you kind of made clear you have strong feelings about uh, kind of safer at home and Thanksgiving. Uh, I do. You know, I, I think when it gets to holidays and families and friends, I think each of us can make our own decisions based on what's best for us and honor other people's choices. I, I see a lot of shaming going both ways. You know, how dare you get together with your family for this and that and the other reason, or um, how dare you're not getting together with, with your family. And so uh, I put it out there that it's okay to take your own considerations and, and make a decision. Yeah, so you want people to kind of be able to make their own choice without having, you know, someone tell them either way that they're wrong. That's it exactly. You know, I, um, I certainly didn't, I don't think I came across as telling people, go out there and, and be with your family and, and uh, ignore the government because everybody has a different situation. Uh, everybody's in a different risk group. You know, they can be at peace with what they decide. For me, in my family, I'm going to Indiana. I'm meeting my sister from Milwaukee, taking my mom. We're going to Indiana. Our family and our tradition is more important than, than the risk factor. And, and then for us, that's what we're going to do. And I don't need anybody telling me, how dare you? <laughs> and so I want people to know it's okay to do that. On the other side, though, if, if you're elderly and um, you really have a lot of risk categories and, and you don't want to meet with someone, honor their decision. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, I guess, so this is something that we've kind of been talking about for a long time now. Um, do you think that there's kind of an issue with people being like fatigued of having to handle, you know, because you can't, our numbers are going up, right. you know, numbers are high, but sure. do you think that, I guess with the holiday season kind of being where it falls and this is still happening, do you think that people are kind of sick about talking about this either way? Oh, I, I'm sure, uh, you know, and uh, fortunately, it looks like we're going to have the, you know, um, the shot right, right around the corner. Sorry, <laughs> but uh, I think there is fatigue setting, and people want their normal life coming back, and hopefully, we can get to that soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I guess for you, what I, I guess because your message kind of came across as being very like kind of anti the orders, but what you meant was um, just for your own personal choice. Right. Um, and it probably came across that way because I think the initial message came across pretty strong. You know, if you listen to Governor Evers and you listen to some other governors nearby, they're telling you, stay home no matter what. Uh, fortunately, we're America, <laughs> I still think, and we can make up our own mind. Government does not get to dictate if we see our families at a holiday. Sorry, they don't get to dictate that. And uh, I guess, so do you think that still going to stand. Christmas is just about a month away then after we get past Thanksgiving. Do you think we're going to be having these discussions again? Oh, I'm sure we will. If you saw with Michigan, I think their order, which is even stricter, goes all the way to the end of the year. So they're already covering their bases for Christmas. Um, same thing goes there. You know what? Um, we have to live our lives too at some point. We could sit under a rock for the next year or two years or three years and just all be independent like this over video. That's no way to live. It just isn't. So I'm going to see my family. If someone else feels totally different, that's their choice, and that's fine. That's great about America. And one last question. Um, you mentioned Michigan's governor's order. Um, was Governor Evers's um, advisory that he put out, was that kind of what prompted you to write that? It was. I mean, mine, mine came out before um, the, the Michigan governor. Yeah, just, just watching the tone of his voice and the way he acted. He had pretty, pretty, uh, uh, <laughs> whatever word you want to use, pretty adamant about what he was trying to tell his citizens. So you don't want to feel like someone's shaming you into not seeing your family. Exactly. And I'm just telling people, if other people think the same way, it's okay. Go ahead. See your family. You know, know there's a risk. Certainly there's a risk in everything. If this were flu season, we'd all be at risk of catching just the flu. All right. Um, I think that's about everything I had. Is there anything else that you want to add? No. Appreciate taking the time. All right. Perfect. Thank you so Thanks. much.